Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a manga review of Imadoki Nowadays by Yu Atase. This is a five volume um, old viz release. This is a shoujo series uh, that I found at a used bookstore recently and was super happy to find it. I have not ever read anything by Yu Atase. I've heard very good things about um, her series, but I'd never personally read any of them. I found the series, I checked, and I knew that this was the final volume, so I went, you know what? I'm in the mood for some shoujo I've never read before, why not? And read it all in one sitting. This was such a fun ride. It is basically about this girl here, whose name I do not remember, Tanpopo, the most bizarre name ever. Uh, what is the boy's name? Anyway, Tanpopo is the girl's name. Uh, she starts at this very elite school. Um, she is a... I don't know, like a... I wouldn't necessarily say a scholarship student, because I don't think she's that smart. Not from what I remember. Um, she somehow ended up at this elite school... Uh, but she's not rich. All of these other people are rich. This boy is the kind of richest of richest of the rich, and I believe he is the headmaster's son as well. She sees him planting or protecting some plant, and so she goes into class the next day and is like, oh, it's the beautiful boy who is really kind of nice to this plant yesterday and she goes and tries to talk to him and he's a complete jerk doesn't he completely snubs her publicly and everybody is angry that she's even trying to talk to him because she's such a low life and she's trying to interact with the prince of the school and whatever um and so she's determined to be his friend determined that they're going to be best friends and so she just continues to make an effort, and she knows he loves plants, even though he's pretending he doesn't. And so she starts this gardening club, horticulture club, or whatever, um, and starts planting things and gets him to join. And then, of course, a bunch of, oops, sorry, a bunch of other people join the club, and they're all just a ragtag team of teenagers who don't fit in anywhere else, and now are all of a sudden part of this gardening club. And it's very fun and cute and sweet and adorable. Uh, I really, really love... This started out and I was like, I'm enjoying it. But it's definitely very much... It felt like it was going to be one of those bullying stories where it only focuses on bullying. And it's really cruel stuff too. That typically happens especially amongst girls in manga. Um... And so I got a little bit worried, but then it kind of came out of that. And there was still some bullying and whatever because she's still the poor kid at this rich school hanging out with the richest guy and, um, you know, people are jealous and whatever. But in the end, it just becomes a really fun friend story about uh, planting and uh, making unlikely friends with people who you wouldn't have thought you would have hung out with and... Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. It was so cute. The romance is, is there, but not super overpowering because there's other things going on. Uh, this adorable fox character is, is very cute. Uh, yeah, you get to... They're in Tokyo, I think, is where the school is, but she does go back to her hometown a bit. There's obviously family drama with the rich boy, because there's always family drama with the rich boy. Uh, but in five volumes, honestly, this was a very well-rounded story. It was fun, it was lighthearted, but also a bit serious at times. It had good romance, but not overpowering. Um, yeah, I enjoyed the friends, too. It, it was a fun kind of, like, gathering friends throughout the story rather than they all know each other already. It was like, oh, here's another troubled teen. Oh, now we're friends with them and they're part of our gardening club. Now they're reformed and, and not as terrible as they were before. Uh, <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. I'm super glad that, um, that I picked it up, and this is one that I'll definitely reread in the future for sure. 
the art is so fun and cute and just kind of an older shoujo style um yeah it's it's fun it's one of those ones where the the peppy gung-ho kind of girl brings a bunch of people out of their shells and then uh kind of changes the atmosphere of the whole school and it's just fun if you've read Imadoki, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. If you have any questions about it, please leave them down in the comments. I highly recommend this if you happen to find it like I did. Um, yeah, it was so much fun. And I would I would much I'd I'd really like to read some more Uwatase stuff in the future if I find some more because uh i like I said, this is the first thing I've read by her and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yep. So that's all I got to say about this one. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.